for Klink. So Klink had a good chance there. Crunch now back in the own end. We'll try to get something going. There's a turnover again. In comes Goldman. Shoot, scores! Now that one's going to count. They've been puck hungry. They've been on it. That's the third time they turn it over. It's now one to nothing, but what a good effort there on that turnover. Good pick off there. So it's one to nothing here, and look at that. Another chance coming up. Shooting scores! It's two to nothing now. Kirkland Lake not wasting any time. That's their fifth shot of the game. Rather fourth shot of the game, and that's two quick goals right there from the gold miners. And look out, the floodgates might be open. That was number 24, Logan Gallagher, with a great pickoff on that turnover. He struck early and now following up right after him. We'll get a name shortly and that'll be dumped down, no icing there. But the gold miner is showing dominance early. The Crunch though have had their chances, but Cole Reddy, who's at the other end. Oh, like we said, he's been ready. Remzoni with a shot from the point, blocked in front, rebound, nice save by Nicole. Another shot, scores! It's three to nothing for the gold miners. As a power play marker. For the gold miners. And they're rolling and they're feeling the momentum. The crunch here are gonna look for an answer. Behind the net. And what a chance there that was for the crunch. Hill tried to bat that one home. Tipped on in front of the net now. Crunch still with it. Back to the point for Wade, and he can't get that shot through. Wade will go for another whack at it. No, instead he'll send it down to the corner for Boswell. Boswell making a nice move there behind the net. Boswell with it. Goes back to the point. Give and go there from Wade and Boswell. Now they'll go to the corner. Over to Wade. Wade wants to shoot it. No, he'll hold now. There's a shot off already, and it goes wide again. Another good chance there for the crunch. Jardine's battling for it. And now the gold miners will finally get it out. Now Marcuse got some speed. Cuts in. And the gold miners will make a change. Coulter's with it. Coulter shoots. Tipped in front. Niccolo with a save. A great pad save there off the tip from Niccolo. That was a shot from Coulter. And it was redirected in front. There's a shot there from Van Wheelie, and that'll be hit off of the blocker of Niccolo. Regina will fire that one down ice. And is that good enough for icing? Yep, it will be. So we'll get an icing call. We'll have to do it all over again. Down the ice. Sixteen forty-five remaining in the second period. Kirkland Lake Gold Miners were off to a hot start in the first period, but it's been mostly Cochrane so far in this second period. Regina's chasing his man. There's a centering pass that went nowhere. Back to the point. There's a shot tipped in front. Scores! What a shot! What a play! And now it's four to nothing for the Gold Miners. Nicolo didn't see a thing. There's a shot from the point, and it got tipped in front. Defensive shot on that, turned away by Nicolau. Now is the Cocker with the clear pass of the breakout. Looks like it's going long and now picked up by the Kirkland Lake Gold Miners defenseman. That's Mike Sibelman. Puts it up on the stick of Van Wheelie. I'm oh, sorry, that's Marcou. Camille Marcou with the shot tipped by the defenseman. Now is Cocker with the breakout through the neutral zone in front of the Gold Miners bench. As the Blindsman takes a tumble right in front of your screen. Gold Miners continue to go out, Coulter on the stick of King as the puck's a little away from him. Now the, the uh, Cocker Crunch with the breakout pass, intercepted by Hiltz, dumped right back in as the Gold Miners continue putting pressure. Kyler Campbell now with the puck, Campbell's centering pass through the legs of everybody, through the point, and now it's back into the zo Miners' zone. 
where Ian McDonald picks it up, puts it on the stick of Lucas Renzoni. Renzoni now up on the sideboards, tipped up to Kyler Campbell. Campbell puts it in the corner and tries to go around the defenseman. It puts it behind the net, and the Concord defenseman blows the tire behind the net, but it gets up, chips out, going down the ice, and we will have an icing call, ladies and gentlemen. Point. Yeah. Dumped it behind the net. There's Wade now. Wade tries to poke check it up. And has a bounce off the Goldmeyer skate onto the stick of Gerstein. Gerstein cycles out behind the net. That's, uh, sorry, that's Logan coming back out again. Logan now standing up the far side looking for the uh, wide pass. Bounces up for the open net. Shot on that. Turned away by Nicolau. Another shot. Bounces off into the corner here. Gerstein now with the puck. Gerstein cycles around, puts it over the side board. Shot by. Turned away by Nicolau and the boards here back to the point. Puck kept in by the gold miners. Logan now has to bounce off his stick, but he kept it in. Being pressured now, comes out in the slot. The shot through. Go! First home goal of the year scored by the gold miners. Nicolau looked behind him, doesn't know how it got through, but it Right now, face off to the left of the goaltender, Nicolau. Face off won by the goal miners, but won so well it went out back into their own zone as Coulter retreats for the puck. Coulter now has the puck dancing behind his own net. Comes up, dances over the, the crunch attacker, bounces it off the sideboards onto the Logan stick. <coughs> Logan being pressured heavily, but he has it on his stick now. He's able to uh, put it up into the neutral zone. Bouncing puck is almost like you need to put a freezer. And another goal by Mark Mark Moore, the quick snapshot. Leaves Nicolau on the blocker side. Ladies and gentlemen, 2 nothing, two power play goals. All right, folks, I was using that chance to check my own writings uh, to find out what Logan's last name is. That was, every time I've been saying Logan, it's Logan Gallagher. Two nothing lead by the Gold Myers to the face off by the Gold Myers. Point man McDonald puts it up to Gerstein. Gerstein puts it in to Marku. Marku now has it on the side boards. Tennis is referred to, to Gerstein. Gerstein with a shot just wide. Point back to, to Coulter, had the bounce off his stick. But there's Logan, my friend Logan, I told you I'd remember his name, Logan Gallagher. It has it now. Puts it on the stick of her scene, back to Gallagher. And now Marcou has it. Marcou puts it to uh, Coulter. Coulter now puts it into Gallagher. Gallagher tries a sending pass, bounces off the defenseman stick. Back to the point. We have Coulter now. Coulter across to... Oh, there's Marcou with a nice sneaky shot right along the ice folks. And three goals on the power play make it 3 nothing, Kirkland. If I stand corrected, that's uh, Goose Bay, Newfoundland, Labrador, Mr. Marcou is number two of the game. Uh, right now it's being controlled by the scrub in the corners. It's coming, working its way back to the point, and the point man is able to keep it in, put it back behind the net. Ian McDowell now goes behind his own net, fits it up on the stick of his winger, uh, Matthew Moran, is able to get it out, but Cocker dumps it right back in, and there's Ian McDowell now with it behind his net. Puts it on the sideboards. Gallagher has it. Gallagher puts it up on the Hiltz. Hiltz does a spin around at the point. Has it bumped off of him by the Brash. Labrash puts it up in the neutral zone, picked up by the Gold Miners defenseman and dumped back in. Oh, Gerstein threads the needle, ladies and gentlemen. The five hole is open and the goal is in the net. Casey Gerstein fires it right through the pads of Nicolau, giving the Gold Miners a 4 nothing lead with one minute to go in the second period. Sam Gerstein's been all around the net all night so far, and it's finally for him getting that uh, biscuit in the basket. The uh, two wingers right in front of your camera seem to be having a... Uh, I don't know, maybe they're exchanging Christmas lists, wishes or something. Maybe addresses for Christmas. 
from the clink, up over everybody, hits the mesh, and we'll have another stoppage in play. Back and puts it back to the point. Cannon now has the point with it, puts it back to his defense partner, in the Inatris. Back to the Inatris, the point is shot through, bounces off some legs. Ben Willie now stops it with the shin pads and goes out. Him and Marcou with a two on one on the penalty kill. The puck comes back out now, Crunch has a two on three. The puck bounces around in his own here, picked up by Ben Wheely. Ben Wheely puts it behind the net and ends up on a stick of Marcou and Jones. Now back on the stick of Ben Wheely. Ben Wheely waits for the puck to slow down, fires it down the ice for full scale changes. It's Cocker and the player it picks it up, puts it on the board. It's a cannon now, cannon just in front of your camera, gains his own, puts a shot through a crowd of people. And misses the net just on the wide side. Pass back to that's Levac. Now Levac puts it on the side boards, and there's a fight between uh, the two players for the puck. And Campbell comes out with the puck as Myers gained the crock and crunch on shot on the ice and scores. Both club side takes Nicolo and puts him up five nothing. Seems to be something wrong with the Kirkland goaltender. Uh, I'm not sure if it's an equipment problem or not. He's got Barrett and Moore with him. He'll go back to Barrett. Goes back to Iatridis. Back to Edwards. Edwards shoots and the blade of his stick went further than the puck. Campbell makes a move around him. Across for his man and it went nowhere. And that puck will float right out of play, and we'll get a whistle right outside the gold miners zone. Thompson should be ready to step out of the box. Next whistle. There's a tip in front. Ready's ready for it though. And we might get stripped. That was a shot from Clink. And now Gallagher's got it for the gold miners. Gallagher makes a move and he gets stopped up. Taken down, where is it? And it goes wide of the net. Back to the point. That's stopped. Back to Renzoni. Renzoni shoots, tip, scores! Gerstein with a tip in front off of Renzoni's shot and the gold miners have a one nothing lead. This power play is powered by the local Canadian Tire store and the power play is not off to a good start. Nicolau, Nicolau rather, will leave it for Hunter. Clink's got it, he'll make a move around Marku. Clink still with it. Looks to center, it centers in front, there's a shot, what a save by Reddy! I don't think he knew it was coming though, he just instinctively stuck his pad down and made the stop, but still 1-0 gold miners. Clink's gonna try again, this time he'll keep. Behind the net, stops up. Looks to reverse to Canini, instead it'll find more. Hunter's at the point, he gets it now. Does he tee it up? No, he'll wait. Over to Clink, give and go. Hunter, no, no tee yet. Back to Moore. Hunter wants it now. Moore takes a shot and it'll hit off of Wimet's leg and go wide, but back to Hunter. Hunter sets it down to Clink. Clink got to settle it down. There's a backhander on Reddy and he'll stop that one. Good chance there on the power play for the gold miners. 
Rather the crunch. There's a good stop from the Gold Miners. There's a good chance from the crunch on that power play with 14-14 left to go. 46 seconds left in the crunch power play. Back over to Zafron. He'll go across to Thompson who takes the shot, sends it down to Barrett. That dribbles in front. Barrett looking for it. So is Orgel. He'll send it back to the point of Zafron. He'll walk the blue. Now he'll shoot. Tip for score! Kobe Barrett ties it up. And this crunch penalty kill is powered by Cochran Tell. Draw one there again by the Gold Miners. And sent right back down by Zafron. Picked up by Coulter. Coulter goes up for Gerstein, who leaves it up for Marku. Couldn't get a handle on it. That stays on the blue line and it stays inside. There's a shot from Marku off a stick. Look up top deck. It's coming at you again. Hit off a stick, so the faceoff will be in the crunch zone. Off one there by the crunch. I actually just tried to send that one off instead of hit off a leg. That'll be wired right back to Renzoni. He'll get her back. They'll give and go. They'll exchange the puck. That's with Van Wheelie. Back down low. Looking for an option. Jones is at the point. Renzoni's on the high circle. Jones got it now. Sends it through traffic. There's a shot off the pad of Nick off. He's sprawled down. Another rebound. Renzoni loses his step. Didn't know what to do with it. Jones a shot. That's loose in front. What a sequence there, and Nikolov kept everything out. Picked up by Van Wheelie, he'll shoot it another save there by Nikolov, and Renzoni will flip it around the boards. Crunch not out of the woods yet, 49 seconds left on their penalty kill. There's a shot on Nikolov, it's loose in front, he's down, sent right back down, perfect spot at the perfect time. That was... Pekka with a great clearing attempt, and now they'll be offside, and face-off will go all the way down. That was a stretch pass attempt there from goaltender Cole Reddy. And his other player at the other end was a little too anxious there, and went over the line. Thirty-five seconds left in Tyson Moore's unsportsmanlike penalty. Face off one there by Hunter, but now he's got a back check. Nice saucer pass to Campbell. Campbell's gonna keep skating with it. He'll take a couple hacks. There's a drop pass in front for Hills. Couldn't get a handle. Oh, look at that spin shot. Campbell with a rocket beats Nicolao. And it's two to one for the gold miners. A quick scope shot from Campbell, and just like that, digs it up to Boswell. Boswell holds on to it, looking for a tip in front, and Reddy was set for that one. Now there's an outlet pass. Goldmeyer's going to look to do something here. Cutting across the net, scores, it's in. It hit in front of something. Don't know what it hit, but it hit something and next thing you know, it hit the water bottle and it's now 3-1 for the gold miners. They drove to the net, they floated the puck out and next thing you know, off goes the water bottle and there's a tip. So the gold miners now will have a five on three opportunity here and they'll have a chance to bury this game. But it's still 14.50 left to go in this third period. So they're not out of it just yet, but the crunch are gonna need a big kill here from their killing unit. Jones has it, he'll shoot and that'll go wide and that'll find its way out. 
134 left on the five on three. Old Miner's gonna look to set something up quickly. The Crunch are gonna look to get a triangle set. And that puck will hit off a skate and bounce out of play. Off one there by the gold miners. Play it back to the point to Coulter. Coulter has it. Holds. He'll get it right back. Down low for Gallagher who hits off the side of the post. Mark who's got it now and he lost it. And now they'll clear that one out. That was Zafron and now there's a minute left on the five on three. Good penalty kill so far for the crunch. In comes Coulter with speed, trying to split the D. He won't. Instead, it'll be picked off by Iatridis, and right back down it goes. Gallagher looking to build speed. He does. He gets in. Tries the toe track again. Doesn't work. There's a shot from Marku. There's going to be a call. That'll be four on three for the next 20 seconds. Campbell's trying to handle it. Nicolo's, Nicolau Riders having some trouble moving across. That's picked up by Marku. Back to the point, no shot. There's a scrum for it. Campbell's got it, he'll circle back. Shoots at Nicolau. Big bounce back save and they hit him again. And Nicolau's not happy about that. And you can't blame him, that's twice they go into the crease now. Eight seconds left. In the four on three and then it'll be five on four for about a minute, minute and a half. There's a shot, scores! Right off the faceoff, Hiltz buries one. There's a power play goal for the gold miners right off the faceoff. Hiltz buries it past Nicolau, and you have to wonder if he was set or not, still recovering from getting run over. By Zapron. He'll fire that one off the glass, and it'll end up in the neutral zone. Over to Gerstein, who chips it for his man. He'll chip it himself. Now he'll go for a skate one on three. He gets in. Gerstein, look at him go, shoot, scores! Gerstein does it all on his own, and it's 5 1 Gold Miners. Put some positive spin on this. You just hope that the crunch can kill this one off. Good start so far. It's out. Van Wheely sends it deep. Iatridis sends it out. There's a good sign. 140 remaining in the penalty. Played across to Coulter. He's onside. Coulter goes after it. Nice pass to Hilt at the point. Does he shoot? He does. Off a stick. Scores! That was tipped off a stick. I believe it hit off of Orgel's stick, but it looks like it might have hit off of a man in front. But I'm pretty sure that's Hilt's goal. That's a power play goal. With 153 remaining, and this game by Hunter. Hunter puts it to Clink. Clink puts it around behind the net. Picked up by Levac. Now Levac puts it on the sideboards here to more and more back to Hunter. Hunter with control with the blue line back to Moore on the sideboards. Moore puts it into Levac in the corner. Levac back to Moore on the sideboards. Moore back to the point to Hunter. Hunter has a floating shot glove saved by Crandall. We will have. 
back to point. The Hunter Hunter has a floating shot glove saved by Crandall. We will have another stoppage of play coming up. Face off right in front of you, won by the gold miners. Coulter trying to get a, a chip it out. Bounces and hits Clink and bounces over the boards. So we will have a play, a face off just outside of the gold miner zone. Pretty much straight in front of your camera on the far side. You guys will get a great view of that as cameraman Dave Ferguson is able to zoom in on that for you. We have Cochran on the power play right now with 5 minutes 59 seconds to go. And Hiltz has taken a face off for the gold miners and it's won by the crunch and crunch half control skating through the neutral zone. Over the blue line, stick check by Jones to put the puck on the side as Clink was trying to go to the net. Levac now with it, Levac puts it back and has it bounced over his intended stick back to Clink at the point. Clink puts it to Hunter, Hunter over to Moore here. Moore puts it into Levac in the corner, Levac puts it back to Moore in the, right at the safe face off dot. Shot just wide of the blocker side of goaltender Crandall. Puck controlled by Clink on the far side now, puts it back to Hunter at the point. Hunter with a bouncing puck up to pass it off. And Moore with a shot just misses the glove side all the way around the boards out the far side. Hunter forced back in his own zone. The long breakout pass to Moore right in front of your camera, folks. Trying to get around Jones, able to put it off the boards. But Hiltz now with the control of the puck. Hiltz being pressured by two crunch players. Jones in there to help about three crunch players now and comes out with the puck back to the point. Hunter now puts it over to Clink. Clink with a shot tipped and just hit the defenseman stick and into the net, beating Crandall over the chop shoulder there. one nothing. it was a power play goal. It was just under five minutes to go now as the face-off continues. The shot through, bounces off the blocker, the crowd in front of the net. And the goal has buried the chance. Bouncing puck in the crease. Crunch players couldn't clear it out for their goaltender, and the puck is buried in the back of the net. So, uh, a matter of seconds later, the goal miners have stormed back, and we've tied it up 1 1. You can't blame the face for that. He made the first save, and the puck was bouncing around in a scramble in the crease. And you have to hope that the defenseman can clear that for him. And unfortunately for him, the gold miners were a little bit quicker to the puck than his defenseman, but left the goaltender with lead. Uh, scrum draw with control going to Cochran. Cochran now with control on the side boards. Intercepted pass, a fluttering shot into the chest protector and gloved down by the goaltender and we will have a stoppage in play. Control face up. Oh, nice shot there by Campbell. Chance to get it off the face off, folks. It was that quick. Campbell was just wound up, fired it far down on goaltender LeBabe, and just ties the score up at two apiece with 11 20 to go in the second period. That just happened really quick, but uh, you can't blame LeBabe. That was shot was just in a blink of an eye, it was from the top of the circle to the back of the net, far down. And I got a quick voice, and I couldn't even call it that fast. So, guys, get past King. Tries to get past Steeman and they're able to get it out. Now McDonald has the puck taken away from him. And great save bailing out his defenseman was Randall there. Randall uh, picked up his defenseman there. And now Cochran has control of the puck behind the net. McDonald has a four check on, but the pass goes back to the point. Now it's back behind the net. A wraparound attempt. Crandall the save. Looked behind him, thought it was in, but Gallagher with the Gerst team. Gerstein has the shot blocked by the goaltender save, puts the glove on it, and we will have another face-off coming up in the crunch zone. Face-off right in front of my broadcast position, folks. Uh, Orgel for the coach coming in, won by the goal miners, back to the point. A shot blocked by the defense and stick check. Coop was able to fight off the defender and put it in the back of the net. The crunch did a good job of blocking it, but the bouncing puck in front of the net ended up to Marcoux. 
Mark Wu fought off the four check or the back check of Orgill and put it in the back of the net for a 3-2 Kirkland lead. That was good strength on a stick by Camille. Again, if I haven't said it, it's uh, Goose Bay, Newfoundland, Labrador's hometown boy there. Van Zijol is putting the uh, pressure on the man as the puck comes in front of the net. Van Wheely now with the puck. Van Wheely, Gallagher, and Gersten coming up on the attack. Puck chipped in behind the net. Zafron picks it up for the crunch. Is able to put it on the sideboards here. And, and it came back in offside, so we will have a stoppage in play. Ladies and gentlemen, the Gold Miners would like to thank some more sponsors. Dine on a Bell, delivering explosive excellence every day. CJKL 101.5, Kirkland Lakes Radio Station. Branch, one, uh, Branch 87, Legion Royal Canadian Legion Branch 27. Get your Catch the Ace tickets today. Face off one by the Miners. Put in the uh, Cochran's home behind the net. The four check coming on. Gerstein puts it back behind the net. Or, sorry, Van Wheelie puts it behind the net. Moran, four check, Van Wheelie. Puts the pressure on as the puck bounces over his stick. Canini now with the crunch puts it up. And as the puck bounces off, we have Colton now firing hard off the glass out in the neutral zone. King now, King and Van Wheeling. Centering pass, Van Wheeling has to bounce over his stick. Van Wheeling now puts it back behind the net. As the crunch, Van Wheeling receives the centering pass right up front over the nets. Colton of the Fave had that all the way, but Van Wheeling was wide open net, picked up the clearing and pass by the crunch. Kept in by the defense at the point. Another shot by the Moran. Van Wheeling gets the puck loose, puts it back to the point. Shot blocked by the defense, sprawling as the puck is now cleared out into the neutral zone. Curtis Gervais with it for the Gold Myers and puts it back up. And Wheeling now puts it in, hits the back end of Coulter on the way through as Coulter is trying to provide a screen. As Cochran plays the puck. And has a bounce over stick and now the shot through a crowd of people. <laughs> Van Wheeling now, the puck's bouncing around Evans scores! <laughs> Matthew Moran buries the puck through the Kirkland Gold Miners, putting them up four to two with two minutes and thirteen seconds to go in the second period. One by the Myers, shot from the uh, from McDonald through, misses the glove side, shot through again. It's the pads of the defender, not behind the net. Rocker with control of the puck coming out through the neutral zone. As they get it in the deep, the goaltender's just got the message now to come to the bench. The extra attacker's now on. They shot through the maze of people and beats goaltender Crandall just underneath the arm and ties up the game with one minute, ten seconds to go. One minute, 10 seconds to go, and it's four on four. Don't you dare go away, guys. This is gonna be an exciting finish. All righty, folks, here we are back for the shootout that will decide the outcome of today's game. Here comes the crunch player in through the hash marks. Turned away by goaltender Crandall. Matt King now will be setting up for the goal miners. Matt King coming in in the breakaway. Comes in on the near side boards. Matt King buries his breakaway his chance in, behind the fave and that puts Kirkland up 1-0 in the shootout as we have Cochran now coming up for their second shot coming in with a little bit of speed tries to go the goalie poke check stick wide by goaltender Crandall and Zafron missed that attempt and now we have 
Kirkland up for their second chance, and this Casey Gerstein coming out for this. Gerstein now thinking about waiting for the whistle. Here we go, he picks up the puck at the center dot. Gerstein going over the blue line. Puts it through the line. Is the concluding of the game. Kirkland wins 5 to 4 in the shootout. Don't miss out for the next game just before the Christmas break. It'll be an exciting conclusion to that one as well. Final score here is Gino Red would say make the final 5 4 Kirkland Lake. You good folks, you have a safe and very happy holidays, and we will see you personally here in January.